yeah, we had a meet and greet um, in Texas. And I actually went to dinner with her and her boyfriend at the time. <laughs> and she was like, she swears up and down. I was hitting on her the entire time. But in reality, I was just inviting her to Colorado to come training. Like, that was completely it. Uh, we have been together for five years, and it'll, well, it'll be five years in two weeks. <laughs> um, we met in 2012 on Invicta Fighting Championships. 2015? Before, yeah. yeah, we had a meet and greet um, um, in Texas, and I actually went to dinner with her and her boyfriend at the time. <laughs> and she was like... She swears up and down I was hitting on her the entire time, but in reality, I was just inviting her to Colorado to come training. Like, that was completely it. And she kind of like, I don't know, gear shifter for her, so that's why I always joke and tell everybody that she got smart. And here we go since then. Mm. <laughs> she said, mm. <laughs> What's your version? Uh, similar, except for you, you, she was hitting on me. Um, and I was very much so interested in her as opposed to the other parties at the table. Um, <laughs> I feel like she's good at everything, unfortunately. She beats me at everything, kind of. Um, <laughs> um, she's a badass, you know, she beats up people for a living. Um, just a great person, very driven, uh, very humble, and very ambitious. Um, and I like that because, you know, it's awesome having a partner who wants the same thing, you know, you want out of life. We want to be world champions, we want to have a family. She's my best friend. My best friend. <laughs> <laughs> I say that Tisha does fun size. Um, she's definitely a little shorty, but she's feisty. Uh, her fighting nickname is the Tiny Tornado. She wholeheartedly lives up to that. Uh, she's absolutely beautiful. She has a heart of gold and just, you know, I mean, when she cares about you, she cares to the fullest and she definitely wears her emotions on her sleeve. Uh, a lot of the training is together and then we do have individual training, um, some one-on-one -on -one with our coaches and then um, she's really able to help me a lot, um, more so than me helping her just because of our size differences. But then we do have training partners, you know, who are able to help me out more, you know, because. It's hard to pick her up. <laughs> yeah, I use our training sessions with Tisha to for like some cardio stuff and then pretty much to get in shape. And then, um, like she said, I mean, it helps her out a lot. I believe in training with bigger individuals so that way it makes you stronger so she gets stronger. <laughs> well, I am the type of athlete that whatever like life is happening on the outside, when, as soon as you walk through those gym doors, you kind of leave it out there. And then the same thing, whatever happens in the gym, like you pretty much just leave it there. Tisha, on the other hand, is a little emotional. So if she's having a day, um, it's in the gym and it's coming out of the gym. So it kind of just depends. <laughs> At the end of the day, I know she's, you know, if she hits me hard sometimes or harder than I want to be hit, I know that like if it was another athlete doing it to me, I wouldn't like complain and moan. But, and I know she's trying to help me, but it's like, I love her. I don't want her hitting me that hard. <laughs> but at the end of the day, I need it because I'd rather get hit hard in the gym than in my fight. Something that I feel like brings us together is hiking or doing something adventurous out in Colorado. That was mine, hiking too. <laughs> yeah, we just take our dogs. We have a big gang here, we call it the Pennington Gang, but we have seven dogs and we'll just round them all up and we go get lost in the mountains together. I guess my coming out with my mom was the first person I told. And she, we like grew up Catholic and stuff, but we weren't super religious, but she like tried to throw, you know, the Bible at me and stuff and said, you know, no, my daughter's not gay, blah, blah, blah. But honestly, she came around really, really quickly, um, probably within like three or four months after she met Raquel and you know, just saw the awesome person she is. It was never really a moment where I wanted to hide my relationship with Raquel. Um, I've just enjoyed it from the beginning. I've always believed in, you know, being happy in your own skin. We're born into this world exactly the way that we're meant to be and we're all unique for a reason. So, you know, you just need to take pride in that. And that's when I like stepped up to the plate and I talked about it. Um, when my whole family got together for like the premiere of my episode, it was like crickets in the house after I started talking about it. But like I said, I mean, I think that just goes back to 
being fearful because my mom, that's when she told me that I was disrespecting my grandparents. And I said, no, I didn't disrespect anybody. I respected myself. In relation to the queer community and learning things about it growing up, I really didn't get anything from my family, but I did have you know a cousin who was gay. My uncle is poly at this time. Um, so I was aware of it and uh, just aware of it growing up in a society where it became more acceptable as the years went on. I've always liked women and been um, attracted to them as well as men. Um, but with Raquel, it was just so different. Like it wasn't because she was a girl. It was just, I had that connection and that urge to want to be around her. I'd never had that before. For me growing up, I was raised in a very Catholic family and old school family. I did grow up with a few gay cousins and um, a couple lesbian cousins, but the, I don't know. I think it was just different because it was just like kind of one of those things that like, yeah, their life was their life and it was all right. Like it wasn't my family's like immediate circle or like my parents' kid. Um, so it was kind of still seen as one of those things that like, that's not how it should be. And so it made my coming out a little hard. It put me through an emotional roller coaster because I had friends who accepted me and whatnot. And I was feeling closer to that, but my mom and I are best friends. And I just wanted, like she said, I'm super family oriented and I just wanted to be accepted there. I think it's cool that we can use our platform. Like last year, Tisha and I, around this time, we both fought on the same card. And we actually use that as an opportunity just to represent like who we are and you know, a lot of people are motivated and are inspired and look up to us. So just by changing um, our uniforms and our fight kit, we had our last names on our fight kits in the rainbow colors. And, you know, I mean, just the way that people were inspired, everybody was wanting to buy them, all the different things. Like, it's just the little things in life, like, seriously, that make the biggest difference. Our relationship, uh, obviously we both have big platforms and it went from basically being Raquel Rocky Pennington and Tisha the, Tisha the Tiny Tornado Torres to we became Rocknado is what everybody calls us. So it's like Rocky and Tornado mixed together. Um, and our careers just kind of like flood together a little bit. Uh, we're kind of that little package deal all of a sudden. So like she said, I mean, it went from being sunshine and rainbows to obviously learning real life. Relationships are not easy, but you know, we moved in together and we've been doing all the things that working our way towards everything that we both want. We both want marriage, we want kids. Like she said before, I mean, our ultimate goal is to become world champions. So that's what we work together towards every single day. I agree a lot with that. <laughs> <laughs> you said it very well.